Eric Creams, thank you for joining us. This is the chat portion of the webinar. Okay, all right. Thank you for posting your questions. Uh, good deal. Any messages from Higher Self? I just feel like you're clearing out the the Bor the Borg, you know, from Star Trek. Uh, beings that can assemble you and put you together. Something you're uh, you have connections to in your past, and uh, you also have a strong connection to frog people. So it's more of the funny side, more of the humorous energies. And it's definitely in this universe, but there have been galaxies there yeah, that are kind of controlling, but there's also places like uh, Alpha Centauri where you healed yourself after being. Turn to a robot. Any messages from close friend being? Uh, there's Arturian energies. They do give you energy to uh, relax your frequency sometimes. It can get kind of heavy here, but uh, the Trudeau energy that's in Canada he seems to be sending a lot of his energy back to him. You know, you're not letting him manipulate too much i mean you're doing the best you can to fight back against them as you know so just that's why part of your missions actually part of it at least carol any messages for me i uh, just see you around a lot of roses fairies fairy dust fairy godmother oh you're technically a fairy godmother right now of course, you're healing many other, other aliens. You're connected to the Palladians. Uh, to even forgive yourself, sometimes you you want to be with everyone, as you know. Question two, any messages from Prime Creator? Yes, you're known to give your energy to others. Uh, he says a picnic would be good. You seem to be doing really good. Um, yeah, going on picnics. I know that sounds funny, but... Um, is this if you want to relax your frequency either for yourself or just with friends? Um, and that sounds unusual, probably not unusual for you, but uh, just good to be relaxing with nature, definitely. And your connection to the trees will open up over time. Uh, Annette, are there any messages for me? Uh, it does feel like you are releasing a lot of shadow energies. Uh, there's some music around you that's helping you f clear out your frequency. Uh, there's a father energy you're connecting to, your own father. This seems like you're healing any deep wounds that were done in the past. Question to you, any messages from my higher self? It does seem like you are speeding up time also to accomplish what you're here to accomplish. It is definitely self-healing, but also to, you know, bring a better energy of who you are. Like you're seeing yourself in a better light than you have in the past. So, uh, Pamela, any messages for me? Uh, you have the ability to actually stop time. You might not be like slow down time, but I feel like you actually stop it to accomplish what you're near to accomplish because you're making sure that every day, everything that you do, you know, comes, you know, you're accomplishing what you need to accomplish here on all levels. So, you got to make sure you do it in this lifetime for sure. Any messages for my daughter? From her son, Spike, who crossed over last year. For my daughter. Uh, yeah, he didn't want to leave at that time. Uh, but he had to go as part of his contract. Uh, yeah, he just connects her energies all the time. He's just... is right now forgiveness. She needs to forgive herself. She feels like she's... You know, she did a lot to, to cause this. Something in her, she feels like she caused it. She needs to let go of that. It was more about him than it was about her. I mean, it just is his journey, but he is around her as a spirit guide. Um, but yeah, just let the tears flow as much as you need to. Uh, and I one of my friend Matt has an eye con sight condition that makes him peripheral uh, blind karma, but also he's been an alien being where that was normal. So, yeah, is this his alien signature is bringing that through? I mean, you are what you are. 
So it's just that he sees it from a different reality. Yeah, he's seeing it from the, the world he came from. A message is from my uncle who died of brain tumor. Yeah, that's not the way you want to go. Yeah, he has a lot of negativity around him, but I mean, he's healing, but there's, you know, why that brain tumor happened? Because he, he refused to leave. So that was the only way to get him to go. He wanted to stay here forever. So, yeah, it just, it helped, it got his soul out of his body. You know, it kicked him out. Uh, Rachel, what am I doing in Astral? Sometime, some time ago, I watched a movie where Abraham Lincoln was a vampire. And the moment I occasionally feel Ava around me, yeah, it's funny. Well, yeah, I feel like he was a, a father figure to you in a past life. But also, you've been a figure like him yourself in a male incarnation. I feel like also in a female so you've been like a female Abraham Lincoln, maybe not where, you know, yeah, maybe not exactly the attire. Let's see like he did look similar to him to a certain level. So, so astral, astrally, of course, I'm answering your questions backwards. Um, all right, what is this? Uh, does Abraham, well, that's, I'm kind of answering a second question, actually. Well, yeah, yeah, he's a father energy around you. So I guess he wanted that question answered first. You know, just connect him anytime you like to. Uh, he likes to kid around with you a lot. Yeah, everybody makes fun of his appearance. That's okay. Am I doing, how, what am I doing? Astral of teddy bears. Lots and lots of teddy bears. I feel like I connect to the Arcturians also, but. There's a lot of times where you're still a child, like a little kid, and you never grew up. Like you're like five forever. Uh, yeah, that's. Think about living on a world like that. You're still very intelligent, but you're still a kid too. That's different. All right, I just see yeah, that. Uh, Amy, uh, next week I'm doing training to learn hypnosis technique for past life regression, entity removal. Am I meant to learn this just for myself or am I meant to be a practitioner? Oh, yeah, for others, for sure. Oh, this is all about for others. Why is my cat being, I mean, I only wanted to go to, into the garage. Is there a spirit? Yeah, there's a reptilian there. I feel like there's also a portal there. The reptilian isn't always there, but there's a portal there. So actually, she is uh, showing you. I think she's. Anyway, the cat's showing you something. You, I've been in limbo state for years. Years, I don't want my life. I don't want this whole experience all the time. I'm terrified because my guy told me that I have to reincarnate again if I mess up. So I'm forced to live in a zombie like state. Uh, how long do I have to live just to avoid dying? No matter how fed up with core I am, at some point enough is just enough. Well, yeah, just, I think I answered this. Uh, yeah, just do things that you feel like you need to do. You know, whatever it is. You know, it's good to live a little. So it's good to be, it must be something you feel like you need to do here. Even if it's a hobby. It's still good. It's like even if you feel like you're stuck here, it's good to do something that you feel like your passion for your passions. So that should I mean your passion like a lot of people their hobbies keep them going. So it must be something, something to give you some thrill of life. Even if you do have find it hard to be here. Do my guys really take what I have going through seriously? Last time I checked, my doctors and people around me are completely out of touch with reality of my life. Um, well, once again, it's you focusing on you and bringing some kind of happiness. Even if you do feel, you know, disconnected, it's good to have something. Either listening to music, collecting music, 
it could be something very like it feels like you need to find if you find you'd be surprised find something to make yourself happy could be part of your theme you know you might still not like this world and that's okay but there must be something out there um that you know makes life a little bit more interesting it's gotta be something out there if that's something you need to find you can always ask me if this looks like i mean ask me certain things here um i can tap into it if you're not sure no yeah i think you understand uh, but you can, of course do what you need to do this will help you out of your window state uh, of course you have to have a passion for it right miles so do you have a message from the woman audio when will be pushing to my two stocks up so I can work on a hover bike and much more. That's oh, too funny. Um, well, two stocks are going to take time. I do feel like two years, but maybe sooner than that. Uh, it feels like there's other stocks you can um, put money into to speed things up a little bit. The hover bike, realize also the hover bike, does the world want a hover bike? You might want it, but what about the world? So you gotta, you know, this is good, but, um, you know, it's obviously a hover bike. You know how much it goes into that, right? <laughs> um, but I think it, going into other stocks is a good idea. Any message from the Yael? It does feel like you are grounding yourself more. And... Yes, it do connect to volcanoes. Also, your energy is connected to wine. Um, I feel like your energy is connected to the California vineyard. You probably connected to Europe also in France, but I feel like your energy is connected to California. Just want to uh, put that out there for you. Uh, Michaela, can you tell me about my soul connection with my father and why we chose each other? I like to deepen my relationship with him and support him to find a resolution of peace. My older sister does not speak to him. I know that affects him. Well, he's been a father. I don't know try to speak. But he's been a, yeah. Well, of course, he's been your father many lives. He's also been a brother. We also been his mother. So he's been your son. So, yeah, your mother's side is coming through, it seems. You have an understanding of him. He's always been kind of bizarre, right? A little bit off, a little bit different, but you have an understanding of him. Yeah, because when you was your kid, he was really bizarre. Not in a weird way, but just kind of different. So... And your older sister, she just has a lot of difficulties. She, it's more about her, as you probably know. So your father, yeah, just, uh, yeah, you go on for, you know, thousands and thousands of years. A sister, not so much, but definitely a father. He's always been there for you. What should I be focused on? It's time for my next steps. Uh, once again, passions. Uh, this is up to you, sports, maybe, something in sports. Yeah, it's up to you, but, uh, research. Um, that's up to you. I feel like researching the religions, it's, a obviously connected to your galactic family. Aliens is probably number one, the, the exercise thing. You know, I'm not, you're not here to talk about it, so like I can run it through you, see what what you feel. But, uh, you know, because sports can mean many things. It might just mean just get out more. Uh, but the research, too, you know, religious, that might be too deep. But the, the lighter thing is just connected to your galactic family. Donna, my cat's constant look at the top of my staircase. Hmm. 
I don't know if he had like a relative die or like a brother that didn't pass or still around or feels like it's somewhere close by. So see, I feels like it's someone very close. Any messages from Pine Creator? Uh interesting. You like it's like your mind I don't know if you have like a lawn to like mowing the lawn, but he says you, you mow the lawn with your mind in spirit or astral. So you make things happen in your mind physically that actually do happen. Like you make things happen with your mind. You're not always showing yourself this. Of course, you probably already know that to a certain level. But you you have a gentle way of making things happen. If you really want it to happen, you're like an instant manifestor at times. I mean, not always. Not everything's going to make itself uh, completely clear, but I think you have an idea of that. Oh my God, it's Moses. Does my higher self have a message? Uh, I see the crypto energy. There's something about it that you understand. Uh, I feel like you won't make money from it. Obviously, you can always lose money from it, but I feel like there's a positive energy there. Or just stay where you are, but either way, you have a mind for it. Does uh, Archangel Michael have a message? Um, just owning yourself, owning what you do. Um, sometimes you're a little bit worried about the future, not to worry about the future. But you are here to uh, bring more confidence about your abilities. So yeah, your psychic abilities will slowly get better, but... Right now, just it's concentrate on your good luck, miracles, things like that. Miguel, the other day I had a dream where I was driving in foggy weather and slowed down. And my another car hit me from behind. Any messages? So that, that shows that it feels like there's some energy. You wanted to see the being that was behind you, like some other beings messing around your energy field. I don't know if you're still looking for that place you're trying to buy. I was like you're wanting to see some kind of blockage and you sound, found it and healed it. I feel like you healed it. Any messages messages uh, from the angels? Um, some angels do uh, bowling, angelic bowling uh, in the astral realm. So you can see a bunch of angels just bowling. You probably feel some of that. It's just like an exercise of the mind. You know, it's funny, but it's like they're thinking also, like some of the bowling balls are actually planets. So, yeah, it's just they're doing, they're cleansing their energy. Uh, some play pool too. So they like a pool hall with angels, and you're there too. Uh, but I don't think you're like playing those games or anything, but I think you're just observing, walking around. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to play a bowling. You do have things pretty sorted out, but some some angels can't sort stuff out. They need to get their mind off of it first. Uh, Donna C, what can I do metaphysically stuff to control my panic attacks? Uh, breathing has to do with it. Uh, Reiki forms of Reiki. It's going to take some time to get used to that, though. I'm I'm now. <laughs> well, I don't know how you can connect. Maybe I feel like mushrooms. Like, you know, the drug. <laughs> Some of that might help. You can look into that. Um, <laughs> that's entirely up to you. I don't know how you obtain that stuff, but... Um, hmm. I think you need to clear out your anxiety. Uh, incense, sage. I think like incense is a good energy. Candles, incense. The calmer frequencies. Just calming. Sometimes you get kind of uh, antsy about things. When you get worried, you like your worried energy hits a hundred. How often do I go astrally? When I do, I go every night. Uh, I see you going to like golden cities, golden places. Your loved ones are there, but you're you're also a leader on a Palladian world. It's like a golden type of world. Doesn't mean everything's golden, but there has golden energies there. Uh, David, 
What message does my guides have for me? Oh, uh, we're going to the convention. You will be safe. And you are opening up new possibilities, new energies. You're definitely going to meet a lot of new people. You probably be overwhelmed to just keep breathing well as best you can. You should be fine overall. But the secret space program, we're going to learn about your connections to it, meaning that ideas will come to you automatically if they haven't already. But more is on the way if it already has happened. All right, workers have their contracts canceled, which is signed on an astral to prior to coming to Earth. We upgrade to four or five. What about ability do you have as much as the cancellations? Well, I mean, there's always a version of you in the fourth and fifth. There's always a version of you there, but well, I wouldn't call it a cancellation. It's it's delayed or I mean, I guess you can say it's a cancellation for some because they didn't learn their lessons in the higher dimensions. So they came here. Yeah, they weren't the basics. Like you, they, some of them abuse their powers, not always, but sometimes. But also some just come here to get clarity. So, uh, yeah, they, they well, think of it as like uh, it's a it's not a full cancellation. It's more like a a pause or something like that. Uh, one to eleven. Well, my daughter Angie would like to know if a guy she met, Eaton, is a nice guy, real interesting, da in dating her, or if if would be good relationship. Well, first off, she needs to make those decisions on her own. I mean, if if she doesn't find him attractive, I mean, I feel like she would, you know. I don't think it's going to make her super happy. I mean, it would be an experience. But yeah, she probably wouldn't be with somebody else. But, you know, I mean, it's okay to get to know him. But you don't have to marry the guy. Yeah, it doesn't have to be one. I mean, she, she can answer those questions herself. It's like, what does she feel? She's uncertain if that's already answered your question, basically. Yeah, she already answered her question. It's like, yeah, he's not the right guy. But if you just have some kind of interest, it's okay to explore that. It's like, yeah, I'll just give this a shot, see where it goes. You can still go out with them. I mean, it has to be like a super close relationship, but, uh, you know, it just looks like you have to let them like warm up to you. You had to warm up on the idea. So, yeah, you don't have to race into anything. Don't race into anything. Um, I wish I put an intention of clearing my spirit guide energies. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Applauding you for that. <laughs> Good for you, Archangel Michael with white light. Saw a blue pyramid, blue triangle beings on the either side. Any messages? What's going on? That's cool. So you cleared out the clutter so you can see who you're connected to. So that's your collective, the blue triangle beings. Now that is really cool. Now you can clear out your guides again, too, if you like. It's like turning on the witch wipers. You did an excellent job, though. Yeah, I commend you on that. Man, I just I salute you. Maybe that's a better word. Uh, he once said, Ra is my ancestor. It resonates. How did this come? Uh, we've been similar to him. And two of you have just been power-hungry beings in the past. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we're your teachers. Doesn't mean that you're abusing anybody's energy or anything. like. Don't look at it like that. But yeah, you you came from the same collective. So think of your seeing yourself, you've been seen as someone like a raw in your past. I feel like you are connected to set. Okay, uh, okay good, Jess. Uh, what energies of beings have been around me lately? Uh, foxes are around you. I feel like you're connected to your higher self more. And it feels like you're forgiving your roommate's energy. Uh, what? I just leave it at that. Oh, what guidance does insight higher self have? Upcoming birthday. Well, it's going to be a shift on your birthday Saturday. So, you know, that's interesting. I'm going to the conference on Sunday. That's still kind of synchronized. It's kind of a synchronization. That's interesting. Um, I don't know. Look at your birth chart. Can you find a birth chart anywhere online? Uh, like, you know, when you put in your date 
and just see what shows up. I think that'd be a good idea just for. Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, it should have good vibrations, though. Uh, Vasco, any messages from Novak? Novak? Um, interesting. It's a little bit cryptic. He writes your name backwards. Uh, and he puts energy signatures in your name so other beings can't trace you. So he does keep you hidden from other beings messing with you. Uh, yes, you might have difficulties with the relationship, but the two of you and your partner, or she's there, or she is or isn't your partner right now. Either way, she is still a partner. Um, even if, I don't know what the connection is there right now, but the two of you, your partner and you, you and her have fought in battles in your past life. And so you feel like you kind of owe each other. You still trust each other. She's just going through a lot of PS. What is it called? Uh, post depression yeah any messages from my higher self well you're doing a really good job you're not getting pulled into the propaganda so uh you do connect to the tall whites you are a tall white one of your connections yeah so yeah you can research them see what you feel on them that's why your energy is a little bit mysterious here yes yeah, so you can eat the venus and pluto I mean, uh, Venus and Jupiter, probably Pluto, too. Um, yeah, we'll leave it with that. All right, blessings. All right, thank you, everyone, for posting your questions. All right, uh, all right good night.